something that is a great concern in our society. It's a season and a reason no, for I'm everything. I'm saying I'm going above and beyond, so I'm not going to go above and beyond. So that's and what we're talking about. No, 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 no. no. You know right from wrong. You know how you felt. Wow. You caused that on someone. Thank you for continuing to watch Real Women, Real Issues. Uh, before we left on our break, I gave you just a tidbit that we were going to be talking about money, the almighty dollar. And we are. We're going to have a little conversation about money matters. And we know that money does matter. It is awfully, awfully important. And for those of you who were watching last week, we did just a little touch on um, an article that we ran across on Yahoo that talked about the fact that the middle class was shrinking and that... Um, um, a disproportionate amount of America's wealth was being shared by 1% of its population and it really spun off into this whole discussion about money and investing and we really began to talk about the fact that a lot of us are not informed about how to invest our money and allow our money to make money for us and that that's a trap that we're falling into mm -hmm. and that we're living paycheck to paycheck and so on and so forth because I know I'm looking forward to getting paid on Thursday. But about the but, but not only investing, not knowing about investing, typically many people do not save. Mm -hmm. You got to start right there. If you go and you work 40 hours a week or at 50 or 60, 70, 80, you know, you should pay yourself. Mm -hmm. But you know, the bottom line is when you are in such a budget crunch. type situation, budget crunch, then you are not always able to save. And, and you know, I I like to use myself as an example because I can't speak for everybody else in the world, but I can certainly speak for me. Mm -hmm. And having five children, and, and yes, wow. you know, I'm a professional, my husband's a professional, and so on and so forth. You know, for example, you know, we, we determine, you know, what money we can set aside and what we can't. I got an electric bill for $570. Now, that mm. steps out of my normal... For budget one month? for my bi for you, one month. Okay, hold the question. Hold it. Hold okay, did, did you have that review? Um, did you have that review? Can I read this, please? Oh, wait, okay, I know we're talking know, about money matters. matters. Wait, 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 but I wanted to did you wait. have them review that? I, I didn't know you could go have it reviewed. Oh yes. Goodness. Call the power company and tell them something is wrong. If that is not what normally happens, by all right. means, but, call you know, the power company. Normally, yeah, they normally raise. They, they went up. They didn't get that a, big of a raise. A, a raise. If, I yeah, mean, but, but I'm saying that normally during the summer months, Everybody because, uh, you know, I have. And why are you not on a budget plan and you, you're I, living in a mansion with five children? I'm not living in a mansion. I mean, don't tell it's that lie. Child's, but it's not a mansion. <laughs> Because I'm feeling really closed in. We need a little more space. Anybody want to donate a million dollar house? Call me. Uh, I'm really serious. No. I, would you stop saying that? That is not true. I'm trying to make my money stretch so that I can afford a million. Which I'm a, okay, but anyhow. My house will fit inside her house. And mine will fit inside her house twice. Okay, but yours will be the basement. <laughs> right, yeah, mine will be the basement. They right. are my lying. Be her basement. I'm trying That's to right. make my money stretch but so anyhow. I can afford. I ain't going to even say a million dollar house. Can I just afford the 400000 300000 We're going to talk. Somebody call me if you want to donate a house. For real, I'm serious. <laughs> Y'all are laughing. I'm really serious. Take but we gonna time. Time. Okay, we don't, don't want to take wait, your time. But, but, but wait, we got to talk. I'm, I'm telling about the money matters. Oh, darn, hurry up. Okay, now, Jeez. if I had decided that I was going to set aside four or $500, now that budget has now changed because I've gotten this bill. You know, normally my bill may be $400 depending on how hot it gets because it's difficult to cool mm -hmm. that upper level and we do use that space. So now I'm forced to... Upper level, here at that upper level. Okay, it's upstairs, there's it's seven people in the house. Three I mean, levels. I cannot have... <laughs> <laughs> We need to go to a break because I need to hurt somebody. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get people to donate a house and you talking about okay, something that's I'm not true. Wait. <laughs> now, 
Again, people can't save because uh, the electric company has now gone up on its rates. The gas company, yes, I'm on budget, but then every year they raise the amount. I'm not on budget for electric. I don't need to clarify that because I don't want anybody calling and sending emails saying that, that I lied. I did that. that for the water bill because my water bill was $163. I was going through, I'm going through withdrawal. And I know that now they're telling me that we have to take a break and it wasn't intentional, I promise. I just needed to get out that money matter. <laughs> I have an issue about my money. I tell you, have the electric company come out and take a look at your meter. Now, we're going to go to a break, but when we return, we're going to start immediately with Josette talking about something that she read that deals with money and how it matters. Let us know about how your money matters to you, please. Real Women, Real Issues at Yahoo.com. Send us an email. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Real Women, Real Issues. I know that before we left for a break, I was doing all this talking about how my money was mattering to me and how my bills were out of control and forcing me not to be able to save any money. But we really want to get into the meat of the money matter. So we're going to pick back up with Josette before she knocks me out of my chair. Mm -hmm. She was threatening me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know you all don't know that. But while it was quiet on your TV, she was threatening me here. So we're going to start with her. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to read this when I was researching about money matter. Map money things. Um, I ran across this. Now, the person that wrote it, I guess they was writing in text form. Um, <laughs> But it says money is so powerful. Money can buy education, knowledge, intelligence. It's supposed to be. Poor person can also buy all same thing, but difference is rich persons using money to buy more money, but poor people use money to buy education, house, cars, and other things. So stop saying why me. Just think to resolve the situation and to be on a better position. If you are a rich person, then no problem. You are rich. If you are poor, then think how can you buy more money? Happy money earning. Mm. I thought that was interesting. Mm -hmm. and, but you know, it speaks to what we were saying last week when we talk about the fact that, you know, there's the, the percentage of individuals that don't have $10,000 saved up towards their retirement, the number is astronomical. And we definitely gave you those statistics mm -hmm. last week. And then when we start talking about um, investing and really using your money, and now that things have changed with the stock market and so on and so forth, people are obviously hesitant. And for those people that didn't have any money, Money, I eat myself and you know now I don't want to put my change in a place mm -hmm. that's not stable mm -hmm. so I know that Kevin called in last week and and you know talked about buying commodities and you know me personally I'm not real sure you know about commodities what are commodities and if you're out there and you're watching and you know what they are please shoot us an email gold and silver pork bellies you ever watch that movie no stuff like that but how do you but buy how it? you gonna raise money through it no they buy and sell that on the stock exchange you invest in it mm -hmm. and through the manipulating that is done on the stock exchange it either raises the, the value of it or it lowers the value of those products mm -hmm. and let's say you pay uh, we'll, we'll just use gold let's say you paid uh, ten dollars an ounce for gold mm -hmm. and all of a sudden now gold raises to twenty dollars an ounce mm -hmm. well you made ten dollars but but how do you to me that sounds the same as investing in the stock market exactly. how is because that any crash too then then that i thought that i was actually going to go out and buy some gold no and some you, silver well i mean if you want to you can buy that but, but how do you do that's that? not making when you do it in that manner it's not really uh well if you want to get it and hoard it you can then everybody when the price goes up then you can sell it you can do that if you want to where are you gonna put it in your house yeah you're gonna buy a safety deposit box i'm t i'm com mm. she probably has something that's in that thought. basement I'm i not don't gonna say that. <laughs> please don't have anybody trying to find out where i live i have no gold no silver I don't have anything but children. No, but seriously. <laughs> no, no, seriously, though. If, if you bought, you know, if you have 100 ounces of gold and you bought it at $10 and you got it at home and you find out that the price goes up to $20, <laughs> you, you better it. run sell it to somebody. But I really yeah. want somebody to, but, you know, one of our viewers, and I know there are people out there that have done this. 
please send us an email tell me how to do it I want to know for real I'm really serious I only have five dollars so tell me what I can do with that five dollars because I want to make five dollars into five thousand and make five thousand can I, thousand thousand. I give my points now? Yeah. oh you got no sorry yeah you oh, know, I, I, I have more than y'all notice I haven't said too much today they they are motor mouths over here <laughs> but my point you're is, talking on my I, subject I I, and I had another article that this gentleman wrote for his son and he's logging stuff for his son and the point is he wants his child to know that some sometimes we must say no so when he take him places he say can I have this he's saying no he's only five and he's teaching him the value of money already and he's telling him we must say no so I looked at that and said in my life there are things when I go out I need to start telling myself no. no. Um, then we got to learn to allocate and budget for things. He's saying money is hard to earn. You got to instill that you got to work for what you you want. You know, um, those are still values. And, I know and you want to get it all in. I, I promise when we when we return, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you ten seconds, and I gotta give Adrian ten seconds because she has something else. I know this money matters is so juicy because money is important to us, and if you don't have money, is you you can't survive. You can't really make it. So uh, we're gonna come back from a break. We're gonna give Josette ten seconds. I want y'all to count down with me now. I ten seconds for her, ten seconds. and I'm gonna give her fifteen seconds because you took two times. Thank you. So you all no, count down with me. We'll be right back. We'll be right. <laughs> Right back.